Hello and welcome to another episode of Going Bush, the program dedicated to all things forestry. We have ins and outs from all around the country because this is Going Bush. This one. And off you go. In Andrew's case, you hope there's a large and aggressive tiger snake not far away. The heartland, Andrew, of the state's native timber production. You no longer have people standing out in the bush able to be getting hit by trees. Never felt safer in my life, Andrew. Go and bush. Go and bush. Go and bush. There is an eye in the sky. Oh, this is going to end well. Coming up in today's episode, we shelve the hard hats and use science to put timber to the test. The story of Victoria's native bush and how it's grown for future generations. Back in the game, a timber family buys back its old business and ramps up production in Tasmania. And all the do's and don'ts of collecting your own jag of firewood. I'm surrounded by wood, which might not surprise you because it's a subject that we speak a lot about. It's a resource, Nick, that's been around forever, but it's time that we put it to the test. We're at a facility in the city of Brisbane that will allow us, Andrew, to use science, science. to show just how well timber stacks up. The Queensland Government's R&D facility is the only one of its type in Australia and has the means to test every aspect of wood and wood products. Working with industry to study wood processing, product development and product engineering, one thing is for certain, those who work here really do love their wood. It's nature's special gift. So out of all the timber, or out of all the construction products in the marketplace, timber is essentially the only one that doesn't leave a, a hole in the ground. It's a sustainable building product, it's reusable, it's recyclable, it's a carbon store, it's lightweight, very, very strong strength to weight ratios. Test number one is a simple elasticity test using a press and a piece of hardwood. So Rob, this testing of commercial timbers is an important function of what you guys do? It is. We do a, f a reasonable portion of, of commercial timbers. We also yep. do a lot of product development work where yep. we're designing and manufacturing new products for the marketplace with, with industry and, and with other collaborators. So, uh, this is a, 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 a stiffness test. It measures modules of elasticity. And to put that into a building context, your, your beam above your door, for example, needs yep. to be sufficiently stiff that it won't sag and jam your door is a really good Whoa. where stiffness comes into play. Wood's probably viewed as almost the building product of the past, and I suppose people perceive other building materials as the upmarket option. However, in reality, the, the, the timber products, you know, potentially outcompete those in, in, a, in a large amount of, of factors. You know, um, weight, durability, cost, um, lifespan, life cycle, renewability, sustainability. You know, timber is really, really on top in, in almost all aspects. All right, well, let's mix things up now. Wood, it's good, it's strong. But unless we compare it to something, we're not going to know just how strong it really is. Okay, this is steel and it's seems, very strong. Seems very strong indeed, doesn't it? But it is also very heavy. So let's put it to the test and yes. see whether steel is in fact the nemesis of timber. So into the machine goes the steel rod and after a few minutes it fails. All right, so here is our metal bar and it yes. was able to withstand a force of about 110 kilos before it began to bend. Yes, it did. Now, this bit of timber weighs exactly the same as that steel bar. So that's what we're going to start testing and we'll yep. see what sort of load it can take and we'll gradually work down size in timber and we will come out with a conclusion, a result, a hypothesis. What's a hypothesis? I don't know. I'm a mad scientist. Coming up to 450 kilos, Nick. Oh, bang. 700 kilos. The steel was, what, 110 and it bent the timber at the same mass, 700 kilos before it went crack. All right, well, I must admit I'm very surprised that wood is stronger than steel. I didn't know that, but mm. there is no way in the world that wood is stronger than that. This is the other very, very popular building material. You may have heard of it. It is called concrete. It's all around. Now, to test that, though, we've had to drive some distance from Brisbane yes. down to Griffith University on the Gold Coast, where they have a bigger and more aggressive press to put concrete to the test. 
Good work, Dr. Dygan. Thank you very much. I'm very comfortable in university surrounds. Righto, Rob, so here is our concrete V wood test rig. Just describe what's happening here. <laughs> uh, so what we're going to do is apply the, the standard compression test for concrete testing. Yep. So we've got a 50 tonne machine here, 100 mil diameter of concrete core. Yeah. And we're going to test our samples in compression. So right under, underneath our concrete core, we've got a section of wood the same size. And we apply a load and squash it and see which one fails. Is this proper concrete? Proper concrete, 32 MPA concrete, the same concrete that's used for construction slabs and footings, house footings, house slabs. With 50 tonnes of weight bearing down on it, my guess is that something has got to give. Something will definitely give, and my bet's the concrete will fail first, leaving the wood in perfect condition. All right, I've got my safety glasses on just in case <laughs> there is an explosion. Rob was spot on. Time and time again, the concrete failed, leaving the wood without a mark. It even surprised the boffin. It's a remarkable material. I would have said concrete was a better material, but not after today. Just because we could, we wanted to see just how much weight the timber core could take. But for that, we needed an even heavier press. All right, Ian, so this machine, tell us about it. It's not quite as spectacular, is it? But it uh, packs a lot more punch. No, this is more for testing concrete. It's a compression testing machine, and we do 300 tonne in this. 300 tonne, seems 300 like a 300 tonne, yep. So we now will compress that piece of timber at a controlled rate. Um, it's not spectacular because the machine will detect failure and then it will shut the so test down. It's not going to explode no, when it no. fails. What have we got on it? Already got 31, 31 tonne. 31 tonne already. Well, this will give us a good indication of how strong that timber is in compression. All right. Really good. So see what it goes to. So there you have it. Our day of testing proved that timber is stronger than both steel and concrete. It's also renewable, reusable and sustainable and takes around 10 times less energy input to produce. The Queensland Government's Timber R&D facility in Brisbane works with industry on product development using timber from around the country. To find out more about wood and the advantages of using timber next time you build, visit www.woodsolutions.com.au. And here it is, the timber which smashed our concrete into little pieces. That has failed, that's the extent of the failure. It still holds a load and that took 46 tonnes. This is an offcut of a veranda post, went yep. to over 70 tonnes. Timber, it does go pretty well. And we have got more of Going Bush after the break.